On this video for Premier Plasma, I will show you how to hook up your torch to our control box. So basically, out of our control box is a gray wire, anywhere from 6 to 9 foot long. What this gray wire does, it is goes through a relay to turn the torch on and off. So basically it opens and closes a circuit. So you have your red and your black wire right here. Now on a hypertherm CPC port, you will be using ports 3 and 4, which is start and stop. And you will take these wires and you can either buy the hypertherm plug or you can buy an amphithonode crimp connector and crimp it on here and stick it in the back of your cutter or strip these wires and stick it in your cutter holes for 3 and 4. Now let's say you don't have a CPC port for a hypertherm. What you're going to want to do is if you don't want to have to install a CPC port, the next best thing is to open up your plasma cutter and you're going to look for a purple and orange wire from your trigger lead where your torch comes into your cutter. These two wires are what controls the start and stop for the plasma cutter. So you'll basically splice into those two wires as a T. So you have your wire running this way. You'll strip it back and then splice this wire into your purple. Splice this wire right here into your orange and that'll turn your cutter on and off. Now for other manufacturers of plasma cutters from Thermodynamics, Everlast, Miller, and there's other ones also, you would do the same thing. If it has a CPC port, you will hook those two wires into the start and stop on the CPC port. If it does not, you will want to open your cutter up and find the wires that go into your cutter from your torch and figure out which two wires come from the micro switch and the hand trigger and then splice those wires into these and then that will hook up your torch so you're able to start and stop it from the table